Okay, so in this talk, I'm going to consider some issues related to the domain of definition for the second order mixed partial. So here we have a function f of two variables, x and y, and we have a point x0, y0, which we'll assume is in the domain of f. If it's not, there's not much point of doing what we're doing. So now what I want to do is I want to ask you, what, suppose I know that these are defined, or rather I want these to be defined. What does that tell you about where f is defined? So let's look at f sub x, y. Suppose f sub x, y of x naught comma y naught exists. So what does that mean? Well, so for f sub x, y, x naught comma y naught to exist, What do we need? We need f sub x to exist to exist for the same value of x naught. So the x naught x value remains x naught, but y value is close to y naught. Why why do I say that? Yeah? Can you explain what I just wrote? Uh, well, you're saying y has to be defined in the neighborhood. What what of has to be defined? Sorry, just. Oh, f has to be defined. Uh, not f, f sub x. So we are doing f sub x, y. What okay. is f sub x, y? That's just. Just a f sub x sub y, right? Yes. So it's the y partial of f sub x. Mm -hmm. So for the y partial of f sub x, to exist at a point, what you need is you need f sub x to exist for y close to the point. Why is that? Because the definition of the is difference quotient. So the definition of this is as a difference quotient. So by the way, you should watch the, there's a corresponding video just for first order partials, domain considerations, which will go into this aspect in more detail. So right now I'll just say that this is defined as a difference quotient, and one of the terms in the difference quotient is this thing. And you're taking the limit as y approaches y naught. So in order for you know for this to make sense, this has to make sense. Okay, is this sufficient? If this if this exists near the point, is that sufficient for this to exist? No. No. Because you still need to make sure the limit exists and the limit may not exist. What we are saying is that f sub x exists for so at, at like some open interval like this, right? So points close to the same x value and, okay, and, and the y value is changing. Okay, so now the fact that this exists for y close to y naught, what does that tell you about f? So, so if the next part for the same thing, f sub x, y, is still on this one. Well, we know that f sub x exists at all these points, close to y, x not y not, right? where y values change a bit. But for f sub x to exist at a particular point, what does that mean? What does that mean about f? f exists uh, in in the what? What are you allowed to what? What should you be able to change a bit and still have f exist? Horizontally. Horizontally. So f will exist in small neighborhood like that. Okay. So for each of these points, f exists in a small horizontal neighborhood like that. Okay. Right? Yes. So, so we need, so what's the upshot? So for each of the points in this small vertical neighborhood, you have F exists not just at the point, but in a small horizontal neighborhood.
So to exist, if we in basically you are allowed to perturb vertically and horizontally. Now there's there's a little subtlety here, so I won't go into this, but roughly speaking, we can perturb both coordinates, right? We can perturb the y coordinate in the just here, and then we can perturb the x coordinate again. Okay, so for x near x naught and y near y naught. So there's a little subtlety here. So because because the the sizes of the strips of each each of these horizontal strips can be different, right? The horizontal interval. So for each of the points with the y coordinate close to y naught, you have a different horizontal strip around that on which f is defined, and the size of those could be different. So the little suddenly, but roughly speaking, you'd expect that the function is defined in a in sort of an open neighborhood of the point, like that, right? Because you're allowed to put up both coordinates. Okay. Now you could have some 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 crazy exceptions, but that's the rough idea. Okay. So what about f sub y x? What will happen with f sub y x? Uh, f sub y has to be defined at x. Why not? So oh, for I mean, this, yes. Horizontally f. around y not okay, f sub so, y. So for f sub y x. Sorry. Yeah, f sub y has to be defined uh, horizontally around f. Uh, so y not is fixed, and yeah. so x is what we baby now, right? Okay. Well, it's really hard to describe. <laughs> Well, I'll say it again. It's um on y equals to y not f sub y x y x. x yeah. I, so moving y on this line, be, let me label these lines just so people are like This line is y equals y not. Yeah, this on that line, 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 f sub y has to be defined around f x. Uh, around x not y, y not. Yeah, and but now for but now going further. They're just like we have these two things for this, and now these two things are for this. So the next thing will say what? Are we down here? Yeah. Okay. So. And why is this? Well, the rough reason is, is, is the same as for this. So we are saying that f sub y exists in, in a small open interval near, uh, for the, as you vary the x coordinate. Right? And now, now, for, in order for f sub y to exist, for each of these points, you'll have, you'll have f defined in a, in a vertical neighborhood like that. So you'll get vertical neighborhoods for each point. And so, and so what you're basically allowed to permute, uh, sorry, not permute, you're allowed to perturb both coordinates. Okay, now does this mean that F actually is defined in an open interval, in an open ball around the point? Uh... Well, it's not a ball, right? Oh, is it? I'm just being. <laughs> well, so is it? Is it defining an open box around the point? I think so. For a second, mid special to exist. Well, it sort of is, but you can have some some exceptions. The the point here is, and it is a little confusing. So 
So oh, we, but it's not like we don't need uh, other directions to exist, right? So I open well, that, that's a, layout, yeah, that's true. But the 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 issue here is, let's go. Can you come down here? So here's the point. What what do we have? So we have let's let's go back to the f sub x y. So we have that f sub x exists on a open thing like this, right? And now for each point here, since f sub x exists, f exists on some open interval like that, right? Now the key question is whether whether there is some minimum. If there is a minimum thickness to all these all these open intervals, right? If there's a minimum thickness, so all of them are at least have at least some particular radius, right? Then you can use that minimum thickness and get a box like that. However, if if there is no minimum thickness to to these to these things for each of these horizontal links, then you won't be able to get a box. So it's it's tempting to say that f has to be defined in a in an open neighborhood of the point, and that's what it appears to be. But it's not. We're not quite there. So it's just a little subtlety. But roughly speaking, you can think of that f has to be defined around the point for the second partials to make sense.